What is up, you guys? Wow! It is beautiful out, and I'm finally, finally getting to really enjoy the weather out here. It has been jumping all over the place here lately, and, uh, well, I just haven't been out on the bike very much, as you, well, you might be able to see. I gotta get gas as it is already. I probably haven't got gas since maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago. So I really haven't been on the bike at all, which has been somewhat the reason for the lack of videos I've been putting up, because I just really haven't been stepping foot on it. Uh, just mainly been dealing with a bunch of at-hand life stuff. So I just haven't felt the most motivated to really jump on it, but ooh, look at that step side. I have made some updates. Uh, we did get rid of the Gixxer. I don't have it no more. I got rid of it about a month ago or something like that. It's really close to that. I'm finally driving it around. Uh, it's been a process getting everything ready. When I first got the vehicle, uh, it was really uh the tires and stuff needed to be fucked with and some shit like that so i uh ended up having to take some time to get that done as well just simply because of the nature of it i might actually even throw in a, a clip or a video or a picture or something of how bad the tires were but we drove back all the way from oklahoma city which from where I'm at is about, give or take about 100 miles from me. Uh, so <laughs> I was surprised the tires actually didn't even blow out. What I got was a uh, 91 GMC Sierra short wide. Uh, it's got a step side bed on it. I'm really enjoying it so far. There's uh, a lot of work that I'm gonna end up doing on it. so. If you guys are actually interested in anything like that, I think I might start uh, putting stuff up on it as well. Just mainly because I do want something for the winter months because as we go into winter next year, I kind of don't want to run into the same issue I was running into this year. Which is if I want something to like make content on or do something on, uh, I need something <laughs> that's kind of ready for the winter time. And while I could keep riding the bike, and you know, let's face it, it's not like I'm gonna put the bike up the moment winter gets here next uh, winter. But in, in a way, I'm tired of just freezing my butt off. This has been three winters for me, riding around on the bike. And I decided that this winter was gonna be my last. Arguably, I should have gotten the truck first before the Jixxer. But I'm not gonna lie, I just really wanted to ride a sport bike around for a little while. I, you know, I had the option, the opportunity to actually see what it was like to be on something that's like fast like that, as opposed to something like this, what I'm riding now. And uh, it gives me, it gave me a pretty good perspective of the type of riding I really do like, because while I do love flying around, this is just as good to me. It just really depends, you know. Uh, when you're out there on the highway and all you're trying to do is get places, yeah, the, the sport bike's fun, but in, what the heck's going on up here? In any other situation, it, it's really not. It's not fun at all. Oh, uh, what's happening here? bringing up some lines there luckily they were nice enough to go ahead and just let me through but yeah so my, my biggest point with the truck is is that that's where <laughs> my biggest time has been spent and uh, it's ready now where if I want to I can start putting out videos with it uh, the hard part is is deciding what kind of videos I guess you would put out for it mainly because I mean I'm not gonna do driving around videos in it 
like what you're seeing right here uh, I think that would be just boring I think some of the fun part of doing I guess motor vlogs like this is uh, actually getting to interact with the audience myself right and uh, it, it gives you a different experience than what you would do normally and I feel like everybody drives a car so you know it's not too exciting to sit behind the wheel of a car and listen to some guy ramble which you know you may think it's not too entertaining to sit behind, <laughs> to sit there and watch a guy behind a bike ramble but uh, there's people out there for it. I do it quite a bit. I've noticed that a lot of my channels that I watch that are bike related don't even actually, like they're not doing nothing crazy. They're, they're doing shit like this. They're just talking, they're going over topics and stuff like that. So, which is what really gave me the inspiration to really just go ahead and do this. Cause before I thought, you know, like this would be just too boring. And uh, there's definitely some, I guess, boring aspects of it. I can see how somebody would get bored with this kind of content. Which is why I want to, you know, change it up. But it does seem to be that the only views I really ever get have to do with uh, this kind of content. Boy, they're all over today. That dude just went around the Amazon truck. Normally, I'd take the highway to work, but I wanted to get a good video for you guys. I'll just go roll through. So that I can get some talking points in there. But if you guys are uh, interested in getting updates about it, uh, let me know down there. I mean, I'm probably going to do it anyways. I'm not going to lie. There's going to be videos of the truck coming. I do plan on keeping the truck. I know I plan on keeping the Sportster and my Jixer. But I need a vehicle, vehicle, which is why I went ahead and went with the truck. Now, the idea for the truck is, is to eventually take it to being a street strip truck. Jesus Christ so I have like some plans that I'm pretty sure aren't going to be the hardest to go through with and uh, it'll be pretty fun to see the results that I get from it because uh, honestly the truck world's pretty fucking big and there's a lot of people out there and the type of videos I've specifically went looking for I couldn't really find if it makes any sense which is the same reason why I even uh, started making videos over the Sportster S and why I had so much what I feel is pretty decent content to throw up on it but you know after I got rid of it <coughs> excuse me it was kind of like okay well it's just what it was <coughs> Not to mention the whole fact that uh, really the OBS stuff is starting to get really popular. I've noticed uh, not only just on the internet, but just in my day to day life. Of course, I live down here in Oklahoma. You know, we're in one of those areas where trucks really do rain king around here. I would argue that there's probably more trucks than really cars in <laughs> in Oklahoma but maybe that just kind of fares everywhere if I'm not wrong I believe at one point in time the Ford F-150 was like the best-selling vehicle uh, in the US so it outsold pretty much everything what well, these lights they're going slow I can see that that one's red and I can see that this one's red as well so it'd be nice if it was like hey you can go forward and now that it's finally starting to get warm I ain't gotta wear all that crap which I'm sure all the at gap people will be like oh yeah of course the Harley rider is gonna stop wearing all the crazy gear as soon as he can well you know what y'all go fuck yourselves because honestly I don't care <laughs> I do plan on getting most of the gear uh, it's just a matter of time and a lot of the times I have other stuff I'm probably gonna spend my money on but I'm not dumb I do understand the whole dress for the slide not the ride thing but man when it's fucking 100 degrees out here mind you it ain't no 100 degrees right now but as summer is fully approaching it will very soon be into that and when it's like that it is so hard to just sit there and wear a, like all this crap on you I don't like wearing the stuff to be honest in the winter time but I will not lie the the protection I feel like I get from it is nice it makes me feel good 
I do actually ride a little bit different when I'm wearing all the gear versus when I'm not. Uh, but in all reality, you know, as long as you're riding safe, I guess it's 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 negligible. Uh, there's a lot of arguments about it out there, right? The old heads versus the new people in the gear and shit. And uh, I kind of side with both of them. I do understand that the um, the gear changes a lot about the wreck and there's a lot of wrecks where if you had proper gear you'd be able to get up and go home but also there's a lot of wrecks where it didn't matter what ge gear you was wearing you weren't you weren't coming home to begin with you, you were dead on impact so i kind of split it 50 50 which is why you guys see me preach stuff like wear the helmet i think that the helmet is a very needed thing but also I don't think that you need all the special like boots and shit like that I mean I do think that you can hit a happy middle ground and wear a good amount of protection while also not completely making yourself vulnerable to just sliding out and dying but that's my video for today I hope you guys liked it if you like the content like comment subscribe share if you can peace out you guys